You will sometimes come across situations where a factor that you want to analyse can't be changed as easily as your other factors. For example, you might only be able to sow your plant varieties over a large area, but can spread fertiliser in different amounts over smaller plots. The solution proposed by split plot design is to sow the different plant varieties in the large areas, then split these large areas into smaller plots and apply different amounts of fertiliser to these smaller plots. In the split plot design shown here, the treatments are three varieties of oats, Victory, Golden Rain and Marvellous, and four levels of nitrogen, 0, 0 0.2, 0 0.4 and 0 0.6 hundredweight. As it is easier to work with smaller plots for fertiliser than for varieties, the six blocks were initially split into three whole plots, and then each whole plot was split into four subplots. The varieties were randomly allocated to the whole plots within each block, and the nitrogen levels were randomly allocated to the subplots within each whole plot. To open the data set for this experiment, select File, Open Example Data Sets. Type oats.gsh, then click Open Data. The first three columns contain our blocking factors, blocks, whole plots within blocks, and subplots within whole plots. Variety and nitrogen are our treatment factors. Yield is our response variable. To specify the split plot design for this data, select Stats, Analysis of Variance, General. Select the split plot design from the drop-down list and double-click Yield to move this to the Y variate field. Treatment structure is a factorial with two factors, nitrogen crossed with variety. Move blocks, W plots and subplots into the appropriate fields. Leave other settings at their defaults, then run the analysis. In the output, the analysis of variance table shows that we now have three strata in the hierarchy. Blocks, whole plots within blocks, and subplots within whole plots within blocks. Moreover, the analysis has more than one residual. In the split plot design, we need to consider the random variability of the whole plots as well as the random variability of the subplots. The sum of squares for variety, which was applied to whole plots, is compared with the residual which represents the random variability of the whole plots. Conversely, nitrogen, which was applied to subplots, and the nitrogen dot variety interaction are compared with the residual for subplots within whole plots. The standard errors accompanying the tables of means also take account of the stratum where each treatment term was estimated. The variety SED is based on the residual mean square for whole plots within blocks, while the SED for nitrogen is based on the residual mean square for subplots within whole plots within blocks. The nitrogen by variety table is more interesting as there are two SEDs according to whether the two means being compared are for the same variety. When two means from the same variety are compared, the subplots from which the means are calculated will all involve the same set of whole plots. Therefore, any whole plot variability will cancel out, giving a smaller SED than for a pair of means involving different varieties. You can learn more about split plot designs in GenStat by reading the ANOVA and Design Guide, which you can access by selecting Help, GenStat Guides, ANOVA and Design.